Hi, my name's Amy. I am the cake decorator at Swirly Girls in Daybreak, Utah. Now I'm going to teach you how to make a peace sign for the top of a birthday cake. Now there are all kinds of cookie cutters that you can buy in stores um, for a peace sign, but I don't happen to have one. Uh, so what I do is I make my own stencils. I drew it out on a piece of paper and basically all you're going to do is um, do this on regular computer paper or you can actually print an image off of the computer if you've got one that you like. So to start it out you're going to roll your fondant out. Once you get your fondant all rolled out nice and even thickness and nice and smooth you're going to take your stencil or your printout or your cookie cutter of course, if you have a cookie cutter, you're just going to cut it out, which that's pretty easy. But I don't have one, so we get to do my method, which is take your little pattern that I've made and a little fondant tool that I've got that's got a really pointy end, but it's also got a flat end, so it's not going to penetrate my paper. Now, all you're going to have to do here is you're going to trace out your design you don't have to push too hard. Your pattern will be there, I promise. If you push too hard, you're going to poke a hole in it and then it's not going to be what you wanted it to be. Okay. All I'm doing is just barely pushing making sure I'm getting all of these are the negative spaces here so I'm going to remove all of those and now you're going to see once I lift it up you're going to barely see the outline of the peace sign now to cut it out you're going to take a little knife you don't want a super sharp one because you don't want it to penetrate the mat which I have here you're going to cut all the way through. Let's do the negative spaces first. Leave your outside intact, otherwise it's very hard to take the inside pattern and cut it out. You will hate yourself if you try and do it the other way. <laughs> okay, take out all of your negative pieces. And don't worry if your edges are not exactly smooth or sharp. Fondant is very forgiving. You can see all these little bumps and lumps and stuff. They just kind of smooth right out with your finger. Now for the outside part that I've got the inside all cut out, I actually do have a cutter that's the perfect size. So I am going to go ahead and take that. If you don't, just continue cutting just like I did before. Make sure you've got it in the right place. Press down. Make sure you cut all the way through. And then remove your excess fondant. And now you will have a peace sign. I'm going to pick it up and show you. There you go, and then you just place it on your cake. I'm Amy with Swirly Girls in Daybreak, and that is how you make a peace sign for the top of a cake. Mm -hmm.